So now we need to go back and, uh, and do a little cleanup work. So remember we want, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got to get that decimal. So if you go up here and highlight that first one that's where you want it, then go up to your toolbar and you can find this little paintbrush. You'll have a paintbrush whether it's a Mac or a PC. And this is where you can format, uh, copy your formatting from one location and apply it to another. You can also use a keyboard command if you want to, um, but it's just, uh, which is Control Shift C, but we're just going to click our paintbrush. And so now, because I've highlighted that, it's, it's copied the format. So now when I click right in front of that, it's going to move it right over there again. So I'm just going to keep copying the format while it's highlighted and go all the way down. And I'll just repeat this until I have them all done. Another way I can do this well, the easiest way sometimes you can do a whoops, got away from me. Let's just go back and continue doing what we were doing. So we highlight this and we click our little arrow and we just go down all the way. Now, if I accidentally hit all of it like this, uh, this time it didn't do anything. So we want to go back up and click it again and get our formatting. And if you look closely, you can see that your little icon changes um, when it's actually active for uh, the paintbrush tool. So there we go. We got all this on here. We got our last one. Now we want to go back and we need to make sure that our timing is on that last line of text when possible. This particular one, the, the one that says mid-shot floor level, it's going to go a little longer than that, but that's just because you've got more description. This one we need to move it down. Let's see, this one we need to move it down one. This one a couple. And this one. Now, it's not a good idea to let a seam break across the page like this one does. Uh, there's several ways you could um, try to clean this up a bit. Um, one easy way to do this is I'm going to do uh, select all under edit, select all. And then I can go in and I can actually um, change my margins. So I can click on layout and I can click on margins. And I could change my, right now it's on one. And see your left margin and your right margin are 125, which is really too much. So I'm going to go down up here to click normal and it's going to increase my margins a little bit. And now I can click on um, I click on the edge of my uh, table here. A little hanging, there's a little button right here. If you hold your cursor, you can click on it there. And I can um, distribute this more evenly. And I can click pick auto fix to window. And now it's going to stretch it out and keep my same um, formatting. So here the first cell, I need to adjust that a little bit. It now goes below it. So see, it's shifted. It's made everything have more room. So um, I may need to adjust. So I need to take this one and move it back up one. It's bled over a little bit to the next page. I can adjust it to get it all on one page. If I go back and double click in my header and I get rid of one of those extra lines that I put in there, and now it's all cleanly on one page. Uh, I need to go up here and delete this one more row. And now it looks pretty good. Now you want to do a, a 
some spell check and you want to go ahead and do all that, but I'm going to go ahead and save this. And always remember where you put it. So I want this to be back in my multimedia production folder. And I want it in my scripts folder. And let's say video script demo. All right, so that is all that you have to do to create tabs, uh, decimal tabs, hanging indents, uh, and a table to create your scripts in for your projects, not only in this class, but in future classes, and also even in other types of writing projects.